Amen. There's some stuff you can get. Draw nigh to God. Amen. He said he'd draw nigh to you. Amen. Draw nigh to God. Amen. 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 You know, I put, I put Brother Cletus up here on this pulpit ever since the funeral. I took this out of my Bible and set it up here. And when I get up here, I look down and I see Brother Cletus said it just does something for me. Amen. Amen. He may be gone, but he's still in spirit. He's still here. Amen. I thank you for being here. Amen. Amen.
later two maybe about a minute later would come upon a wreck and I said thank you God that could have been us but thank you God nobody seemed to be hurt everybody looked like they were okay they looked like they were a little shook up kids were involved it was several kids and and and, and I thought Lord you know I'm nothing come on but if we don't pray things will never change but we can pray and things will change see because God give us power in our tongue and if we ask it we have not because we ask not. If we have, if we ask God, He'll do it. And I believe it, and I'm very thankful and blessed to know that He heard my prayer. Yes. That, that we were okay. Yes. And 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 you know, and those people were okay too. But yes. that was a scary thing. I said, remind me never to book a vacation at that at that time of the month because I don't like being in that kind of traffic. It just no, I don't like it. And it was, I mean, it was horrible. And I had to go to sleep for about an hour, hour and a half. I don't know if you get holler at Eric over here. <laughs> Tell lots. They're hey, breaking. They're breaking, you know. And, and, uh. I know. We can't sleep. We can't sleep. I mean, and he didn't have the wiper. Cut the wipers on. You know, my kid, I got to see. I don't know about y'all, but I want to see where I'm going. And, and, and spiritually saying that, I want to see where I'm going. Yeah. And, you know, God, he can open your blinded eyes. Yeah. And uh, so I'm just so thankful that 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 he kept his hand. You know, we take little things for granted. Amen. We take things for granted. How how his his uh, protection over us, and and how we don't know how the enemy tried to attack us that very day to take us out. But because we serve a mighty God, a God that's still alive and, and well and not dead, and looks over his watches over us, just like a mother chicken watches over her baby chicks, he's watching over us. And I'm so thankful that I serve a God who's not dead but still alive. I'm so thankful. Anybody got a song tonight? Because I'm blank. I don't know what's going on, but I just uh, don't know what the Lord's up to. But I don't want to get ahead of God. I don't want to get behind Him. I just want to go glad with I'm Him. I'm serving a God that cannot fail. I'm glad I'm serving a God who's able to deliver. I'm glad I'm serving a God who's able to defend.
situations. He's in control of the storm. He is the eye of the storm. He's the eye in the storm. And and you know, um, the enemy would like for more than for more than us to do is to worry and to fret and, and to get our eyes on what's going on around us and, and you know just looking at the church tonight and how the number was up there. You know, now ain't the time to quit. Now's the time to press. To press harder. It ain't time to sit down. It ain't time to say, oh, they, the devil's won. It's not that time. It's time to know that God is silent. God, we're, we're going through something. I told y'all we're going through a season. And a season, and sometimes it don't, it ain't easy to go to transfer into another season. But you know, we're going through something. But the good thing is, Jesus is up to something. He's going to do something. There's something good on the way. And that's how we have to keep our eyes lined up with the word and think and, and, and upon his promises that he will not let us down and he will not fail. Our faith in him will not fail. It, it is not void to tr in trust in the Lord. It will not go void is what I'm trying to say. But you know what? The enemy would like for us to get our eyes on circumstances. Oh, would he? And and you know, Sister LeVon asked me, did I, said she felt like I needed prayer. And I'm like, okay, God, I'll take prayer any day. You know, what what's going on? But you know, I got to thinking, God, what's going on? What, what, you know, I mean, Lord, you know where I need to touch. And I got to thinking when Brother Ricky was ministering about some things that I've been going through that, that you know, that, that, that has um, uh, afflicted me. But, you know, I thank God that he knows where I'm at. I thank God that he can use someone 
to, to, I needed prayer. Maybe I didn't want to ask for prayer or really realize I needed prayer. But when I sit down and then Brother Ricky began to minister, I, God spoke to me on why I needed prayer. And I needed prayer because you don't know what's ahead of you. You don't know what tomorrow holds. You don't know what, what you're about to face. You don't know that. And, and I don't know that. I don't know what tomorrow holds. But I know this. I know who holds tomorrow. And I know who holds me. And I know who's going to get me through it no matter what. Just as he did the three Hebrew boys. Uh, you know, when they went into the fiery furnace, they weren't alone. So when we're going through the wilderness or, or through the fiery furnace or through the, the and thrown into the line of dens, we're not alone. As long as we're a child of the Most High God, we're we're going to be okay. And that's all we got to get our mind. We're going to make it through this, Sister Sue. No matter what it looks like. No matter how hard it gets. No matter how the heat gets turned up. As long as we hold on to Jesus, we're going to come out better than we went in that situation. See, because you know there's somebody here tonight and you're going through some things. It feels like all around you there's turmoil. It feels like no way, no matter where you turn, it's here, it's there, it's there, it's behind you. But there's a good thing about it. When the children of Israel hit, got faced with the Red Sea, God made a way for them to escape. He won't leave you hanging. He will come through for you every time. He'll come through for you if you're at a Red Sea. He'll depart the Red Sea just for you because you're His child. And if we'll just focus on God and just thank Him, thank Him ahead of time. You know, a lot of times when we're going through it, I can say this for myself, we begin to murmur, complain, how bad it is. How hard it is. Why has this happened? God, I've been serving you for this many years and then you do this to me? How, how dare us? How dare me? For what he did for me on the cross. What he went through. I don't think I could have done that. I would have probably give up the moment they went to crucify me. Ran and hid in a mountain somewhere. I don't know. But he did it just for you and I. But we complain and won't come to church when we get a bad toenail or a headache. Serving God means putting yourself aside. Serving God means when everybody else wants to go out to the movies and God's calling you in the closet to pray, then that's what you should do. You know, God will use a willing vessel. He'll use one that's willing to lay outside their life and their self and their time. He'll use you. But there's a sacrifice that comes with being used by God. It's called self. It's called self has to go and the spirit has to leave. It's called getting alone. Praying when everybody else is having a good old time and, and, and reading your word, studying when everybody else is doing whatever they want to do. But God is looking for willing vessels and, and I believe that God wants us to, you know, we're going through, I don't believe it's just, I told y'all this the last time I was up here minister. I don't believe God, that it, it's just me going through something. I believe the whole church is going through it. But it's a time we got to stand. we got to stand and just hold on to God because God won't let us down. He's faithful. He is so faithful. And, and, and I, I just thank you for being faithful to me and loving me when I've been unworthy of the love. You know, he loved me in my sin. He didn't love the sin. He loved me for who I was, but he didn't love my sin. But when he saved me, he washed me and cleansed me. He still loved me the same. But now I'm on the winning side. I'm on the winning side, church. You're not a loser. You're a winner. You're a winner because you have Jesus. You're a winner through no matter whatever you're facing or whatever you're going through. See, the enemy comes to cause distractions. He comes to, to bring things into our path to keep us, get us off focus. Get us, keep us from putting those horseshoes on our feet and getting us to running again. That's what he does. He does those things. Whether there be two here tonight or one here tonight, God is still the same God. We can still serve God and worship Him the same as if there was a house for tonight. 
It don't matter about the number. Yes, it matters that we want more people. We want more souls to be saved. We, we want to grow and all that. But it, what matters is that God is with us. That's the most important thing. Because if God is with us, everything else will fall into order. You know, these pews, we've been up to about 40, 49. But you know what? I'm not seeing it as, as a pew tonight. I'm seeing it as a whole. I'm seeing all the pews, all of them filled up with a Holy Ghost filled, saved, born again Christians. I'm seeing more musicians coming in. I'm seeing a sound man. I'm not. I'm seeing these things. They're going to happen. Why? Because the Bible says you have not because you ask not. And if we ask and believe it, we shall receive it. Especially when it's for God. And that builds up, you know, worship is so important. Our musicians, I thank God for Brother George and Erica and Dustin and, and for our little tambourine player. I thank God for the tambourine players back here too and, and, and Aiden and Caleb wanting to play. You know, I thank God for that. We just don't need to take the little things for granted and be thankful for everything. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. <laughs>